Hello, Eagle fans. This is Kyle Serba for the NCCU Sports Network, and I'm joined today by one of our new assistant football coaches, Ron West, who is overseeing our linebackers uh, for the upcoming season. Coach West, thanks for joining us. You bet. I appreciate it. So, Coach, uh, just for our fans that uh, they don't have an opportunity to, to know you just yet, why don't you share a little bit about your background? And I know that Based on my count, you have 39 years of football coaching experience. So I know we don't have a lot of time to get into all that, but if you could just kind of summarize that and and tell us a little bit about yourself. Played college football at uh, Clemson for uh, Coach Danny Ford and uh, many years ago, he was my line coach. And then after I got through doing that, I I decided to get in college coaching. It was a good outlet for me and my first full-time position was really at uh, North Texas State. Went to North Texas State and coached the offensive line there. And um, went from there after one season and went to Texas Tech, coached the offensive line for four years there, and then had the opportunity to work with the linebackers, the three backers with Spike Dykes, and did that for a year. And then after that, went to uh, Louisiana Lafayette as a defensive coordinator. We were really good on defense, so we, I went there and I stayed uh, in Lafayette seven years as a coordinator and linebacker coach. And then from there, I um, had a chance to go to Baylor and went back to the offensive line with Chuck Reedy. We, uh, we won the conference our second year there, I coded it, and I coached the offensive line there for four years. And then from there, we went – I went back to Tulane with Tommy Bowden and Rich Rodriguez, and I coached the offensive line there. And we won, you know, the conference and Conference USA, won, it, won undefeated, then went to Clemson. And then I went to Clemson, and I coached the offensive line for five years. You know, we did well, went to bowls and all that. And then, then I went to the defensive side, coached the front four for one year, and then coached backers the last four years. And then from there, went to – to Tulsa as a coordinator, uh, then went to Illinois with Coach Zook for two years coaching in the Big Ten, coaching the backers, and then went to as a coordinator to Arizona State, co-coordinator to Arizona State, and then went back to North Carolina as a co- co-defensive coordinator for two years, and then wound up at Georgia Tech uh, as an offensive line coach with Coach Paul Johnson and um, spent three years with him, and then he retired on me. He got he had enough, he said. So he, he retired, and <laughs> then I wound up at West Virginia as an analyst this last year. But, yes, it's a, been a wild road and a crazy uh, bunch of events, but it's been very, very, very exciting. Well, Coach, obviously some impressive credentials there, but I, I think I'm even more impressed that you can remember all of that. That, that's I, have pretty to, good. I have to write it down. I have to have cheat notes. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't stay in order, I can't remember it. Yeah. you got to stay in order. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, Coach, tell me, how did you get to know or, or find out about head coach uh, Trey Oliver? i tell you, you know, what's interesting is uh, the people you meet down the stretch all the, all the way through it, and a guy named Rod Broadway. I actually didn't mention this, but I went to East Carolina. That's one of the stops that I took uh, out of college, but I wasn't full-time. I just gave you my full-time positions. But um, I went to East Carolina, and they hired you back then in in a part-time role. And uh, me and my wife uh, ran the athletic dorm, and um, we had an apartment there, and, and Rod Broadway was hired there. And that's where I first met Rod Broadway. And then I left. Of course, I left and went to North Texas State. Uh, Tommy Bowden was on the staff there too, and he left first, and then I left and went, he went to Auburn and I went to North Texas State. But the point is, is I met Rod Broadway, had stayed in touch with him through the years. He'd done such a great job when he was at North Carolina um, A&T and of course Central. I mean, I mean, you know, he'd been around and he had done such a good job and I knew he knew Coach, I mean, because I, you know, Trey, I, I just kind of looked at where they were together. I knew he worked with him. So uh, I had him call him for me, but really didn't know him at all. So why did you uh, decide to choose NCCU as your next opportunity? Uh, 
my big question is why not? You know, um, you know, I think it's if you look at the, the history and tradition of NC CU, I mean, it's it's unbelievable. And uh, through tradition wise and the program it's had and the competitiveness of the program and I guess the academics is really good. And so I think it's a really a good program. And I think Coach Oliver will get it going and do a great job here and win big before it's over with. So, I mean, the point is, is I think why not? Because, I mean, North Carolina Central has won before and won big. So, I mean, I don't see why you can't do it. What do you feel you bring to NCCU? Well, I think, you know, being able to have coached on both sides of the ball, and, and I, I bring some, uh, some, at least some knowledge that way where I can help out where I fit. If, if you know, when, from a defensive standpoint, a lot of times what you're doing when you're breaking down film, you're trying to find out what somebody's trying to do to move the football against you and what they're trying to do to, to win, win and score points and how they're trying to uh, achieve a advantage in play calling and what they're trying to set up. And I think that's where I've, you know, been, been on both sides of the ball. It's helped me to see what people try to do and try to set things up to take advantage of things, uh, either play action or just a way to get a, you know, to get you outnumbered in certain formations and stuff like that. So I think that's what I, that I bring to the table. And, you know, I've been involved in the kicking game um, it had a major part of the King game. And so I've been able to be involved in defense and as a play caller and then being a, being on the offensive line, you just, you just, you're, you're, you know, as you know, as a, as a offensive line coach, you've got a lot that you've got to prepare for. And uh, with the linebackers, what are, what are you seeking to accomplish with that group? Well, I want to be the, you know, I'd love to be the best group in the, in the building, you know, and be an, an impact group but to be a very disciplined group and a group that's, uh, that does the right thing on and off the field, lives their life the correct way, how they live their life off the field is a direct reflection to the success they have on the field. And I, I hope we have that kind of group that will live our lives right and will be successful on and off the field and do things right for the program. Because the program is, like, a, like I said earlier, is, um, you know, it, Coach Oliver has established number one. He wants culture over scheme, so he wants he wants to develop a, a program that that everybody can be proud of. Every a graduate of the program can be proud of, and I want to have the same type of kids on the field playing for us. Uh, I know uh, the circumstances are a little unusual. You just joined the program in the spring. Well, what has your experience been like so far here at NCCU, and maybe what is something you've learned about? North Carolina Central. Well, I didn't realize how great we were, I guess because I just don't keep up with it, but we're pretty doggone good in basketball. And I found <laughs> that out real quick when we had the A&T, you know, that game was right after uh, all this start hit. And, man, right. but the A&T game and the rivalry game and, the, you know, winning that game. And, I mean, everybody was taking – saying that, hey, we're going to come back and – slap them pretty good and we did and so I mean you know and and I looked at the the rivalry and that's that's huge but that that was a big win and um just uh the the biggest thing that I've noticed is there's a lot of uh people really care uh the people I met earlier when I when I got to North Carolina Central uh they seem to really care and they really want you to um there, it's important to everybody. It's not not just important to uh, some coaches. Just, I mean, I'm talking about human resources. They, the, the people there, they care. Uh, they they want to make sure that you're getting all the information you need to get to help you help yourself in the move and help your family. And that's what I saw is the professionalism and just people caring about each other. You know, and we pre we preach family and and it. And it it represents their actions on how they care. So that's what I've noticed since I've been there. Because I've had people call uh, human resources checking on me to make sure I got everything done. And it just, I mean, above and beyond the Call of Duty. 
So as we wrap things up, Coach, uh, what's one thing you would like the uh, NCCU family to know about you? Biggest thing that, that I'm going to uh, do the best I can to, uh, to give everything I can to this program to help us win the Celebration Bowl. Because that's what I want to do is I want to go win the Celebration Bowl. Win, win, go to the Celebration Bowl and win it. And uh, that I want to do everything I can to do that. Super. Coach, we really appreciate you taking the time. And uh, be sure to stay safe, will you? You too. Y'all both All stay right, safe. All right, take care. All right, thank you so much.